Well, tomorrow, a key advisory committee to the FDA will vote on Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. New documents from the FDA show that vaccine has a lot of similarities to the one made by Pfizer. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain where they differ. Both Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines rely on the same basic approach, jump-starting the immune system with messenger RNA. And a new review by the FDA confirmed their overall effectiveness is essentially identical. 95% for Pfizer, 94.1% for Moderna. They both do what they're supposed to, which is excellent, and it's really good news. I'd be happy, frankly, to get either of them. Like Pfizer's vaccine, the FDA found Moderna's worked equally well in men and women, in different ethnic groups, and in people with underlying conditions. However, in people over the age of 65, Moderna's vaccine dipped slightly in effectiveness to 86.4%. UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chinhong says, statistically speaking, the dip could have been a fluke. When I think people in the community look at that number, they might say, oh, that vaccine, that Moderna vaccine probably isn't as good for the older population compared to the Pfizer vaccine. But as a clinician looking at these numbers, they're both amazing. Another possible difference, Moderna showed stronger data that its vaccine prevented severe cases of COVID-19. Out of 30,000 volunteers, there were 30 severe cases of COVID and all of them were in the placebo group. There were no cases in people who got the vaccine. In Pfizer's trial, one vaccinated person did get a severe case compared to 10 who got the placebo. But again, we still need more data and it's not a reason to recommend one versus the other. The FDA found both vaccines are safe, but short-term side effects are common, especially with Moderna's drug. 68% felt fatigue, 63% had a headache, along with muscle pain, joint pain, and chills. The symptoms typically went away in one day. Dr. Abby Ololade is with Sharp Reese Staley. Just because a vaccine has side effects doesn't mean that it's not safe. And so we know that side effects happen actually because your immune system is working and waking up. It's actually a positive thing. Experts say the slight difference in side effects could be because of differences in the way researchers polled the volunteers, or it could be something with the architecture of the vaccines. The companies use different bubbles of fat to enclose the messenger RNA. Moderna's bubble is a little stronger and more stable, so it doesn't need to be stored at subarctic temperatures. For example, you know, with the Snickers bar, if you hold it in your hand and it, you know, melts, then, as opposed to M&Ms that don't do the same thing, you know, that's proprietary. And so that might be a difference that is contributing to that. It could be that one uh, elicits a little bit more inflammation than the other. Doctors say having slightly more side effects might mean Moderna's vaccine prompts a stronger and potentially longer lasting immunity to the virus, but it's not yet clear. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Now, the biggest difference may be where these vaccines get sent. Since Moderna's doesn't need to be kept as cold, it's likely to be sent to more rural areas and community health centers that don't have sophisticated deep freezers.